Hello, comrade. Today we will plan our expansion. Welcome back at our episode 3 in our No Money series. And what we have done is we have created a glorious road. <laughs> goes from the border to our glorious oil field which consists of one unfinished pump <laughs> right here yeah somewhere here yeah yeah the road is under construction and will take some time mm. we have here 20 workers and one stalinek and we have 3000 work days which, uh, i would assume will take two months we will revisit it um now we are at the 6th of april yeah so first things first let's uh take care of our money situation and get another loan i always take uh, short-term loans and pay them rebalance them and um so my interest rates are quite low because if i have one year loan my interest rates are 2.3 percent if i have a five year loan my interest rates is the double dip. so it's better to take short term loans but also it's more annoying because you have always take care of your loans and uh, repay and rebalance yeah 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 good old <laughs> game so this is our first first leg of our industry and um it will take care of the uh, with the basic income of our loan business so it will cover the repayment costs so we don't get bankrupt if this one is in halfway decent swing which will take a while uh, ugly rock thank you and now i'm going to our second starting place which is also a little bit painful because i need a second road construction crew and uh, general construction crew here and there and this one is firstly uh, for our starting town, which is far away, and also uh, for our bauxite business. Which if we look here at the map, our bauxite business is right in front of our camera here, um, partially sunken in the lake. We need to do a little bit or a little bit more excavating in the lake, which we start now. And first of all, this uh, always amazes me how unsightly this land is. And not only, you know, uh, I have no problem with hilly land, but this land is... Uh, it's not hilly, it's ugly. <laughs> Best way to describe this one. Because I have no problem with silliness, even with very uh, challenging killiness. But the hills need to be like rolling hills. You know? So, nice and gently. And look at this one. This is, I think this is all reminiscence of a road here. Yeah, why not? You see here? Looks like uh, parts of road. Yeah, whatever. It's fine, Dennis, it's fine. Yeah. Um, we need a little bit of excavation job here. Let's get that. I will talk uh, what will happen and how and why. So, uh, number excavator, yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let them come. The beautiful thing is, as long as uh, they don't have fuel, they will not complain that they don't have no fuel. <laughs> and they work like uh, we expect them to work. Because if not, you are going to Gulag. So, they will excavate our um, for our mission. One thing I don't have is a bulldozer. So, um, I cannot flatten the land. I can only excavate. Which will be fun in its own right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have uh, methods to uh, flatten the land. You will see them shortly.
because we are planning to build bauxite mines, uh, these comrades are also no ways. They will uh, work for their money, <laughs> do a good job mining out our bauxite. This is really nice. The mines can be fully automated, so you don't need people for the mines. If they are all in place, we will stop the game, um, prospect a little bit the surroundings, look where we have to excavate. It will be a ton of excavating. And then go on. Okay, nice. So, let's take a look. Let's go to our industry, not this one, not this one, <laughs> this one, yeah. yeah. This is our bauxite mine and we look at the numbers, we are here in the 60s, we are here in the seven, in the teens, um, 70s. So the, the vein goes something like this one here, yeah. And here it stops, so we need to go here into the into the lake. Give me something to go up and down, <laughs> because up and down is the only way we know here. Mm. Because of no bulldozer. Can buy a bulldozer, but I think we will make it without. So here I have a very nice bedrock formation. Okay. Hope the ridge is closed. So the beauty of the excavators are, as long as you don't have a fuel station, they will not miss the fuel station, because they don't know what even fuel is. So even if I go on, on pause, uh, I can excavate, even without fuel. So let's see. Uh, let's go on normal speed and check our comrades. How much fuel do we have? No fuel, but... Because you have no fuel and you don't know what fuel is, we can go on. Don't question it too much. Sometimes the game is not known for its realism, but uh, please don't patch it out. <laughs> At least uh, for the next, let's say, one or two episodes. <laughs> Sometimes they are fast to patch something out uh, where they think it's too cheaty. So as long as I don't have to deal with bedrocks, the excavation of the Lake here is not the worst thing in the world. Mm. So the oil is the basic income and the bauxite is the thing which gets it off the ground and running. Um, with oil I will earn like 30k a month, I think. I don't want to overstress it because the oil price can plumb down, plummet, go down, which is a real problem. The markets are quite sensible, also because our economy is so small. So if you have a constant export of something, 
uh, the markets can react harshly to it. So I don't want to overdo uh, the oil. And also it will, um, will plug up our border post. So oil will help me nothing here if I do it too much. Mm, let's give me something nice to flatten the terrain. Yeah. No! <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't want to build it. Serious. I want to flatten it. Have some water here. What a mess. Can't do nothing. Somewhere it's too uh, not high enough. But where? Yo. Yeah. Hmm. Just checking the speed level. Yeah. And uh, the difference between oil and bauxite is that uh, bauxite has mm, is uh, worth a little bit less than oil. Uh, refined bauxite is worth more than oil, but I don't want to clutter up my border here. And I also want to make a little bit more than 30k of monies per month. So I will apply a different strategy than with our oil starting place to get us off the ground here. First of all, the investment is a little bit higher than with oil. The pump jacks are very, really, really cheap. And here we need a mining complex. We need uh, some storages. We need some people for the refining of raw bauxite to bauxite. Uh, which is, I think, quite important to refine it. Because if you don't refine it, it will cost... Uh, it's worth half of, half of the money per ton. Half of the rubles. And if you refine it, um, you reduce the volume. You reduce your you uh, raise your value of your goods and you have an easier time to transport it. Yeah. So we are searching here for the best places to put in our little mines, 50%. Let's see. Where is the silvery gold? Oh. in the high 80s. Hmm. 90%. percent 91%? 91%. We'll take you. Eighty-two percent. Eighty-four. Thank you. Okay. And water must go. Yep. My current setup will deal with uh, four bauxite mines. And uh, we have to go. <laughs> we have to come a long way here. Yeah. As long as I'm not dealing with bad rocks, I'm fine with it.
Okay, miney, miney. Dropping off here. I need to go further. 60% it's not nice. Can't I have a 70 something? No. Okay. What's on this side here? It's the equation. 77. Do we get something like 47? Sixty. Question is fifty. Seventy-five. So these golden mines. Uh, Seventy-seven. So maybe I will deal with a sixty percent on the other end. Let's see. Now, uh, what is the month flag? End of April. Money is good. Okay. Close this, but go a little bit down here. Try to flatten. Hmm. Why don't we use this one? Good flattening iron. The trick is simple, but you don't need it anymore. <laughs> um, just find a yellow spot with the building and um, hold it and flatten it. Yeah. These are only tricks if you are really desperate um, and have no bulldozers like I have. Not really desperate, but uh, have no bulldozers. So I need to resort to such crude methods. Can I have a 7170 here? What can we have here? 60 something. Oh, this is good to flatten. Nice long building. Yep. Up to specification. Back in the day, uh, building flattening was the best method to flatten <laughs> terrain. Uh, sounds funny, but it's true. Sixty something. I think we will take it. No. Yes. Sixty one. Take it. Okay. 
So we have our little mining setup here. With uh, two strong mines in the center and two not so strong mines at the parts. And now we need to extend it to make some place for um, a buffer. And optionally two, or in the best case, um, two factories, two bauxite refineries to make some real bauxite out of raw bauxite. all take space which we need to get out of the water Okay, money is okay, date is 27th of April, let's take a look what our road does. Okay, we are here, um, 2000 workers left, Okay, um, so it's nearly one month and we have one third done. Okay, okay, okay. try to make this one a little bit flatter second method than building flattening but uh, roads tend to go on a slope so if you want to cut up a hump road is okay you are afraid to uh, not finding two po places which are in the same height road is not okay <laughs> So the bane of my existence is this one. Because I want to have it as near as possible, but also they need to connect and they not always want to connect. So yeah, he does not want. Do you want? No, they don't. They don't want to. So let's try it here. You want... How much do you cost? Oh. 40,000 rubles, which is acceptable here. Mm. And this is why I want to have uh, four good yield uh, mines because of this setup here. Um, I save myself a lot of hassle not building tier turrets, simply build these ones and I'm done. And um, next step is the two um, refineries for the bauxite. And again, good job of flattening. One refinery will uh, can refine 125 tons of bo uh, raw bauxite into 75 tons of real bauxite, which is a reduce reduction of uh, one third. But as mentioned before, the prices will rise by 50%. Uh, so overall, it's a win. Only problem is I need some people to operate the refinery <laughs> yeah but not many one refinery one of these factories uh, will take 25 people I will plan to make two of them not these ones uh, I want to make two of them um, 
but also build only one at the start. And, but the layout of these ones are really, really bad. Um, I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. Because the problem is um, the exit is near the the exits of the of the let me show you let me flatten it okay good enough So the beloved exit. Um, the exit is by the by the exit of the conveyor belt. So I have big problems um, connecting them to something usable because I will always uh, box myself in, which is really not so pleasant as it sounds. For example, if I build one here, mirror it, build one here, both of the exits are in the inside. Which I really don't want. So what can we do? What can we do? Not much, I think. do something like this I think uh, no because <laughs> then also they will be in the inside I hate this building I really do. I don't know why this is such a bad idea to do it this way. And I even cannot put the finger on it why, but simply it's bad. Bad, bad, bad. So if I go here with one and the other one would be here, then I will box myself in two times. <laughs> Which is really not nice. Mm. Let's relax a little bit by the road project here. Ah, still on the way. Okay. What's the solution? I don't know how they managed to build, to design such a bad building. really is I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this way but if you want to have two of them what can you do you always will have the exit on the inside that's annoying um, yeah I don't think I have a chance to uh, 
Go over. No. Do I not go over? My problem is simply I want to avoid uh, boxing myself in and want to avoid constructing unnecessary towers. I don't think there's a solution for this. At least I didn't see it at the moment. If you have one, send them in. <laughs> oh boy. Because if I build it like so, I will have a problem first of all having a storage. Like here. Yes, can be. Can do. But then where will go my harbor? If I make something like this, my harbor go there, possible, but then uh, I have boxed in one, yeah, this one will be boxed in, which is really annoying, <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <clears throat> Sorry, head hitting here cable I've got. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I will uh, leave it at that and deal with it later. So just simply build one one part of the uh, industry and have the second part for later. But I don't want to have unfinished business like this. And you don't. You swine. Yeah, and then I need to build a tower to cross. I think that's the best solution which I can come up with. Because here they are all flat. Cannot go through there. No, no, no. Bad, 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 bad. So where do I want to have the storage? Somewhere like here, but not in the water. Or 
Also, I will cut off my harbor if I go there. Hmm. So if I need to... Wait a minute. So if I need a freaking to tower for this one. can also go like something like this. Make a small storage which I really don't like. Oh man. Yeah, sometimes it is so. Um, date? 12th of May? Let's pause it. Okay, okay. I'll go, I... I can go with the exit. Yeah. No problem. So you go here. Okay. So I could go here. Theoretically, I could go here. Oh. Hmm. Do it. Why is it so high? And how can we make use of it? Is this up or down? Up. This one is down. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. Yes.
Oh man. So if this one is so high here. Okay. Bam. Is there something like a road here? Yeah, but not this one. Whew. Oi, oi, oi. Next fun part is the loading harbor. Oh, we go with ships. <laughs> Big surprise here. Um, no, really. Um, I go with ships because um, I don't need to build any infrastructure like for the train. I will not waste my steel and risk high steel prices. And... Um, the next thing is I can export how much I want and it will not bother me because of uh, inflating prices or deflating prices, stagnating prices on the world market. Because if you export via ship, you don't have these problems. Yeah. Um, these are my reasons why I go for a ship solution here. Shipping solution. Let's get rid of a little bit of here, maybe. And not the train one, because if I start uh, building out rails, it will eat up all my money and I will have inflated steel prices like you can see at uh, my last playthrough where I pay basically double of the steel. Yeah, it's very unpleasant. Okay. I do want to be somehow like this, please. In my current situation, I really uh, should not waste any money on steel uh, <laughs> or any money on inflated steel prices. Simply cannot afford. Would hurt me greatly. So we don't do it. Okay. Okay. Sigh of relief. So with this situation, um, let's kill these. Do this and do this. Okay. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> But man, oh man, oh man, these buildings are really clunky. Really, really clunky. Um, 
so we have to pay are we here 100k of um, just for the conveyors <laughs> which uh, is even more because this one also needs to be accounted for yeah now we are even 100k um, this one will cost 122 tons of steel which is mm, 10 tons are 4,000 rubles, 100 tons are 40,000 rubles, mechanical components, lots of concrete, cement, uh, and work hours. So this one, let's say it will cost 100k, 200k for all the conveyors. Uh, this one costs around 20k. So we are with two of them by 240k this one is not so pricey i think well it is 75 tons of steel nearly 100 tons of steel so also 40 50k so these two would be um would be 350k and uh, these are 50k a pop because we need four excavators for them so let's say 550k for this complex but uh, i will not build everything so i will build maybe the most yielding uh, mines and i only want to build one of the uh, factories so i will save yeah let's say a good amount of money <laughs> no i will save um i will pay let's book this in with 500k then I need a construction crew and everything else which needs to be done here. I need a road access and yeah. Construction crew will, will be here 200,000 200, um, and I need a ship dock. So uh, and fire and power and so on and so forth so let's say 750k for the whole project plus uh, including the ship dock and um, the first ship will cost me another 250k so it's a 1 million project more or less adding the time we need to spend and some foreign workforce maybe yes maybe no um, yeah it's a good million. So, <laughs> comrades, I uh, need lots of oil for this one. No, we will... Yeah, okay. Let time run, because my, I can reduce my mental load now. Okay, nice. So, um, this complex... <laughs> I'm sorry if it took a little bit longer than expected, uh, but I really like to keep it fairly uh, compact and... I have uh, now. Uh, now I need uh, have two two addi uh, additional uh, motivation to keep it compact, because I save money if I keep it compact. Uh, we have here uh, no additional towers. Uh, tower will also cost money and time to build. Everything you want to build costs additional time. Yeah, and I can. I think we can start with a sleek start here with one. Or two i think was one uh, mine and uh, some people from the border and uh, yeah around one load of uh, ship to the soviet border which is right across the border which will make us uh, nice money if we uh, manage to finish this one <laughs> in time and not run out of money, which is really the challenge here. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, we also spent 130k and what can we say? We have one road half finished. <laughs> so, not so much. Yeah. But we will stay on it. Uh, I like the challenge and I want to keep it keep it interesting yeah so 
if you are still here <laughs> and you like the episode, my hurdle, my struggle. <laughs> Again, I apologize a little bit uh, if you if you uh, sitting screaming <laughs> for your screen. Uh, but no, I think in the end uh, something beautiful went out of it. <laughs> yeah. So we see you next time. Bye, comrade. <laughs>